everyone, my name is Abdulaziz Ahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my channel. This is the last video about Givenix tutorial series. And today, we are going to talk about toggle button. But before we are going to the main topic of this video, I'm very grateful if you want to click the subscribe button to make this channel growing up. Okay, thank you so much and let's get started with my tutorial. Okay, first of all, I want to say sorry for my English is not good. So if the word I use are incorrect, please help me to point out. Okay, so today we are going to talk about different next toggle button. Okay, first step, open your IDE. In this section, I use IntelliJ IDEA. If you are not familiar with this software, you can use your favorite software like NetBeans and others, okay? And then I create new project. I select Java FX and then I select next and I give project name toggle button demo, okay? And I select next. Okay, here is our project and don't forget to import GFENIX library on your project. If you don't know how to import GFENIX library on IntelliJ IDEA, you can watch my first video, link on my video description. Okay, and the next step is open fxml file in scene builder and make sure you have integrate scene builder with IntelliJ IDEA. If you don't know how to integrate scene builder with IntelliJ IDEA, you can watch my first video, link on my video description, okay? Right click on sample.fxml file and then open in scene builder. Okay, and here is fxml file and I delete grid pane and I want to add anchor pane. Okay, and today we will focus on GFX toggle button here. GFX toggle button here, okay. This is GFX toggle button. And as we can see, we can uh, find toggle button from the GFX like this. Sorry. This is, I mean, okay, and we can preview, and we can see the the top is GFX toggle button, and the other is default toggle button. Okay, I tell it this, and we can see on the right side we can change toggle color, toggle line color, and toggle color size and more so we can set text here might be off I set off and I want to change the color maybe maybe blue okay and I copy this and I paste here And I want to make it lighter than before. Okay, and I give you. Okay, look like this. And we can try to run. Okay, look like this. Okay, and the next step is I want to change this text when toggle is selected and when toggle is unselected. So I give ID, FX ID, and I save and I select view and then show sample skeleton and I check on the view on the full and I copy this and then as usual and okay I need to import GFX component.
okay and I want to connect my controller with my fxml file I call from here fx controller and I call class name sample sample.controller and here we can see okay and the next step is I want to create a method okay I need to call fxit and select the property and then I want to add listener yeah, like this and inside this method I need to create if else statement to go okay I mean if and then to call that is selected equal equal to and then I want to set to call that set text I want to set it to on and else uh, when when the toggle is unselected I want to set text to off okay like this okay and try to compile okay look like this awesome so when we select it it will be on and when we unselect it it will be off okay okay i think enough my tutorial today if you have any question or comment write it down on the comment field thank you so much and see you again on the next video